What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and today I wanted to speak to you about a particular pet peeve of mine, and that is Grammar Nazis. They seem to be just multiplying in Esperanto here, they, they seem to be everywhere. Now, to give you an example of what I'm talking about is, is for instance, I'll see a new Esperanto, someone who's been learning the language for say like a two or three months max or something, and he'll ask a, like any question within one of the Facebook groups on the forums somewhere. He'll ask a question, and it'll be completely like not on topic of grammar or in any form, it'll be say, let's say, what's your favorite sports team? And then some random person out of a group of say 10 will jump in and go, you forgot the accusative case, you shouldn't be speaking the language. Like, it's very rare you see that, but I have seen it in all honesty. But most of the time it'll be like, you made this mistake, this mistake, this mistake, and then they won't contribute at all to what he was actually asking about in the first place. Now that's what annoys the hell out of me because one, a lot of people, like I mean a lot of people are really timid when it comes to actually speaking or even writing a language that's not their native language. They're afraid to make mistakes in a public space. A lot of people don't like to be pointed out and it actually scares them off from learning the language or at least practicing it more if they get pointed out in a public space with like their errors. So if you see an error in someone's text, don't just comment on it and list all the errors. And I don't want to hear the excuse, oh, it helps other people who's learning. No, it doesn't. It doesn't help at all. You just look like a jackass, in all honesty, because for one, those people, they may be completely terrified about the fact, unless, of course, they write in the message saying, feel free to correct my errors, which I do every now and then. But if they don't write that, send them a personal message and say, hey, look, I see that you're learning the language. That's great. Um, I've noticed a few little errors in your text. Do you need some assistance? Like, I'd love to give you a helping hand. Or if you want to practice, there's this group and this group or whatever. But don't just straight out say, you made this mistake. It's meant to be transitive when it's intransitive or you shouldn't be using this word, it's not a cognate of this English word or whatever. Or in particular, this one annoys the crap out of me. People who go, you can't use slang or you can't use this because that's not what it means. It means this by the book when everyone actually uses it this way. Look, you may have ingrained beliefs about certain aspects of the language or the philosophy of the language, but don't bring that up in a discussion where it's not welcome. So, and when I say not welcome, I mean if the discussion's got nothing to do with grammar. Now, unless someone asks you a question within that discussion, just leave it off or give them a personal message. Because so many conversations, I'll see an interesting conversation, I'll be like, ooh, and I'll want to jump into it, and then I'll notice this one person talks about this random grammar thing, and then this other person will jump in and then start speaking about it, and then suddenly the whole conversation's about this random grammar concept, and the original thing is just completely gone. It's just, like, no one's speaking about it anymore, and the original post is probably looking at all this and going, oh my god, I've made a massive error, and now these people are all looking at me, and they're probably terrified, and they don't want, oh, I messed up my hair, and they don't want to speak about this stuff anymore. So, I just want to say one last time, if you see a mistake and you actually sincerely want to help someone, send them a message, okay? It's not hard. Now I know you might feel like you've written all this lovely information and it's going to help someone else, but send them a message because I've spoken with people and I've seen them stop like speaking in public spaces, like writing I mean. And that's purely because they're scared of making errors. People are terrified of making errors, like some people don't realize what it was like what it's like. Like for other people like me, you point out my errors, eh, whatever, whatever, thanks for that mate, that's all cool. But not everyone's like me. Not everyone's as open about it as me. A lot of people are terrified. And the last thing we want to do is scare anyone off of learning Esperanto simply by just smashing them with this, you know, with the, the f some massive grammar book and going, here's the grammar, whack. Eat that, you gotta swallow that first before you can communicate with us. Because most of the time, the errors that I see, it doesn't actually break down the communication in any way. I'll be like, yeah, he dropped an accusative here, or oh, he used this word when he actually means this word. You know, it's okay, I can, I can get what he's trying to say. Unless, of course, you totally don't understand what he's saying, but then you just simply say, look, I don't understand, can you just rephrase that? And if he still struggles, then maybe try and contact him if you know his national language and help him out. But yeah. It's just something that it just gets to me every time when I see this. There's so many conversations that I just think push completely off the topic simply because these people just love to have these grammar debates. So, I just wanted to finish this up with saying if you've liked this video, give it a like, share it with your friends, especially the grammar and artsies out there, they might need to see this. And if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, I will go into your Facebook profile, find every single goddamn error, and I will correct it. <laughs>